Hey guys, I'm Steve and you're watching The Broker's Life. I'm the broker at Savvy Realty here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I am in Sky Las Vegas, I'm gonna show you a one bedroom, one bath unit. This is the front door behind me. I'm gonna turn around the camera and let's get into this unit. Oh, and of course, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you like more content like this or you wanna see anything that is similar. Uh, going in to the front door of this unit, you have the kitchen directly off to the left hand side, galley style kitchen, and then you walk right into the living room and dining room area of this one bedroom unit. So let's get into the kitchen because I really do like the kitchens in Sky. These are all Bosch stainless steel appliances and electric range. So let's get in here. Uh, you do have the electric black range for this floor plan and the stainless steel backing all the way around. I like that splash guard. The cabinets are more of a glossy color and I actually really do like that. These are Italian cabinets. So a very nice high-end product. And then off to the left on this side, um, you have your sink, your spack splash, extra cabinet storage area, and I bet you missed it, but this is the washer and drying, or dishwasher right here. Oh man, that's rough. A lot of hard water in that one. Uh, that is one of the things with Sky. If you don't maintain your items, oh well, actually not Sky, Las Vegas in general, if you don't maintain your items, you do have hard water in Vegas. So you definitely want to do that. Um, Bosch appliances off to the right in this, uh, here we go, electric range, or no, sorry, not electric range, the electric oven, built-in oven. Here we are. And this actually looks like good. I was expecting these to be a little bit more rough with that dishwasher being so, so, uh, so intense. <laughs> but this is the floor plan for the most common one bedroom that's in Sky Las Vegas. And let me give you the exact square footage. You're gonna be 778 square feet. So with this unit, if you're online on my website and you're looking at all the inventory in Sky, the link is down below. Anything that is 778 square feet will be this exact same floor plan. And you got a large, pretty large balcony for being a one bedroom, but we'll get into that just uh, at the end of the video. I wanna make sure you see everything in here first. Usually this is gonna be a dining room table area, or at least that's how it was designed. But right here is your uh, washer and dryer closet. Every unit in Sky Las Vegas in this high rise is gonna have a stackable washer and dryer. And then this open door here, this is gonna be your bathroom, and then that is the entrance into the bedroom. There is also a second door right here that is a sliding pocket door, but this door handle is currently not operable, so it is not letting me slide through. Uh, this bathroom is very good size. So we have the standing shower area, and then you have the jetted tub. I really like that Sky put these huge jetted tubs in all the units. Like that is really nice. And then you have your single vanity here and your, this is your toilet area, right? <laughs> Again, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Appreciate it guys, it helps me out. So then we're going into here. This would be your normal door here to get into the, your bath, into your bedroom, but I'm gonna walk right out into the living room again and get into this bedroom. Here we are. So walking into the bedroom, what I do like to notice, very similar to what the living room is like, you have the stepped ceiling. So you have a lower one, a lower facade, and then you have the upper ceiling. It gives me the feeling of not being closed in and having a lot more space to go around. I really do like that. And just so you can see it, maybe you didn't catch it in the earlier video, but you have the tiered ceiling in the living room as well. Now, one thing that Sky does really well is these huge windows that are real floor to ceiling. They go all the way up, but not only that, they also have these handy sliders in the bedrooms um, of your unit. So you can get a little bit of fresh air as well. Um, if we're over in some of the other towers, you do not have that. That is not a, not a thing that is possible, especially in city center. There is no opening windows in that community. Now you have a dual closet here and here for this bedroom, which is nice. I mean, it is a single bar, so it's not like exceptionally large, um, but having that option is really, really preferable because sometimes you don't get a lot of closet space. I really do like to see that they have dual closets. Um, sometimes we call them his and hers, his and her closets. Usually 
Uh, one will be larger than the other, but it seems like these are pretty similar. One just has a larger door and one has a dual door. Now, one of the details that Sky has put into this unit is the bed area would typically go right about here. And nice to have is a switch, a light switch off to the left here. So you can have a night switch or a light switch right above your nightstand and it's not going to be something that you have to get out of bed to turn on the light and go use over here. I do like that. It's not a huge thing, but it's just something that, you know, details is what catches my eye. Also, if you like having blinds or automatic blinds, the details here right by the sliding glass door, this has a little indent here so you can have the track not be visible when you install your blinds. That is something that um, I built a house recently, so I always try to look at what these details are. Uh, so, you know, when you're designing, it, you know, it looks nice. That's an extra thought that they didn't have to do, but I'm glad they did. Now, opening this up, you have very large area for patio space. It looks like they may have had some kind of uh, something down here at some point that's seen the floor but just so you know this is the floor plan uh, and you can get an idea of what it is to be in a one bedroom in sky now you have fountain blue directly across huge blue building awesome restaurants that are going to be in there and a massive pool deck I mean, look at that that thing's huge and of course sky is one of the few high rises that is directly on las vegas boulevard so directly down here is all las vegas boulevard area uh, this area right here potentially is going to be developed as the all net arena so you have a uh, uh, an arena in front and a hotel in the back part of it over here and if we're looking further past that those two towers here are going to be turnberry place or i'm sorry turnberry towers uh and then to right to the right turnberry place is over here there's four towers in that community they're built by the same builders but turnberry towers is going to be maybe a little bit more modern uh contemporary style and uh right next door is the hilton so you got a huge hilton building right next door and then if we go a little bit further down that is sahara the sahara hotel sahara and las vegas boulevard is the location over there now, if you do have any questions, always reach out to me. I'm always available. Shoot a text or give me a call. And of course, on my website down below, you can see all of the inventory that would look just like this over in Sky Las Vegas and all of the high-rise condos here in Las Vegas. So appreciate it. Give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we'll talk to you soon, guys. Have a good one. I almost forgot, I wanted to tell you guys that right down the street from this tower is one of my favorite late night breakfast spots or early morning breakfast spots. It's called the Pepper Mill. So a lot of people, it's very famous. Uh, a lot of people, if you've been out having fun on the strip all night and maybe you're coming back a little bit early in the morning, then you usually go to the Pepper Mill and hang out and have a good time there before you go back and call it a night. But have a good one guys, we'll talk to you soon.